Common question we often get, what's the difference between self-drill, self-tap, self-drilling, tech screws, lots and lots of names out there, um, and what's the difference between them all? Well, they are all different, and they all do different things. A self-tapping screw purely looks a bit like a wood screw, but and has point at the end, thread all the way up. The difference between a self-tapper and a wood screw is the center shank is a lot stronger and heavier and the thread pitch, as we call it, i.e. how many threads there are running up the screw is a lot closer together. And the screw itself is very, very hard. Um, it's gone through extra hardening process in the steel mill to make it incredibly hard. Then we have what we call a self-driller. So the difference between that, as you can clearly see, is it's got a completely different front on it. Um, and this acts like a drill bit and pre-drills through the metal before then bringing the thread, similar to the self-tapper, in behind. So it drills, then taps. So sometimes, hence it's called a self-driller or a drill tap. It's a technical screw. It's made up of multiple parts. It's not just a single screw like this one here. You've got two items. So what we'll do, we then go on into a whole range of different types and They'll all do different types of metal, different thicknesses of metal, all for different applications. So we'll break that down in a little row here. Some people just call them self-drill, self-tap. They're just basically a very basic screw, no, built to a DIN stand, but have no testing data, not classed as a structural screw, just for very light duty applications. Um, not really a true construction screw as such. Um, often used for assembly line work, um, light, light fabrication, things like that, where you're not relying on the screw to provide any depth or strength of field. Um, moving across, we then have our four, our, well, two of each type. So this is a hex head, light duty. And you can tell it's a light duty for two reasons. One is the length of the drill point is very, very short and you've got a co relatively coarse thread. Heavy duty, we can see it's got a long drill point and very, very tight or a fine thread. Um, so that would suggest it's heavy duty, designed for going for thick steel, for going through thin steel. Then we have countersunk. Again, similar things apply. This is a light duty, so it's a short drill point, coarse thread, Obviously it's countersunk, it does have the milling flutes underneath, um, which help it to countersunk into timber. Then we have the heavy duty, long drill point, countersunking heads, fine thread. Now the big difference between the, these and these is this is designed for metal to metal applications. These are designed for timber to steel or timber to metal applications. The big difference, as well as the, ob the obvious countersinking head, is these tiny little wings under, just above the drill point. What these do here, these little wings, is they help clear out the timber as they go through to save it um, filling up with wood, which then stops it tapping properly into the metal and ending up jamming up and snapping off. Once you go th hit the metal, these little wings snap off and then the thread which has now been kept nice and clean by these as it's passed through the timber, then does its work by tapping into the steelwork. 